Hello, I'm Jamie N. Commons, and you're currently watching the best site in the world, Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with Jamie N. Commons. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yourself? Awesome. I'm really glad we can make this happen. Yeah, no. It's, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. So you're now touring North America. How are you doing your time on the road? Um, yeah, good, good. This is our final date here in, uh, in fine Toronto. So yeah, we, we're... Uh, I think we spent about five and a half, almost six weeks uh, with the catfish in the bottom and, and um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's the last day of school today, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting on with the lads? Are you enjoying your time with them? Or? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we get on, we get on fine, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's been a really nice tour. Nice. Well, when you have some downtime in the city, because I know it doesn't happen too often, mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what do you enjoy doing? Are you looking at museums? Do you have vinyl scouter? Um... Yeah, I made that mistake the first US tour I did with the with the vinyls because you don't factor in that you've got to then take them home, uh, and then that that collection can amass quite heavily if you're, uh, you know, you know, getting getting on board with it. But um, yeah, I don't know this tour. Um, a lot of food spots, trying to you know, trying to Yelp the best uh, the best <laughs> sushi within a ten block radius, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's, it's been quite a quite a quite a busy one driving wise. So yeah, we haven't really had much time, but. Um, it's good to get out and see the city when you can, you know. You mentioned yelping stuff. What's the best meal you've had on this tour so far? What's the best meal we've had? What do you reckon, Ian? You love Chipotle. Chipotle. I do, yeah. Just any Chipotle <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much Chipotle. Nice. I, I, I do love it, though, with, with all my, every essence of my being. So um, <laughs> this, is a, this is a shameless plug for uh, getting a Chipotle. Chip Chipotle sponsor for the next tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you spend a lot of your time between England and Chicago. So where are you based at the moment? Um, well, this is a good question. Until yesterday, I was going back to London tomorrow. But as of yesterday, I'm going back to Los Angeles now. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, yes, um, I... I, I I exist in both planes, um, in both places, yeah. <laughs> well, when you're in America, would Los Angeles or Chicago be your favorite state here, or is somewhere else kind of stand out to you? Um, I do love Chicago. Um, having grown up there, uh, and we had such a fantastic show, this this run at the House of Blues there, which is just a phenomenal, phenomenal <coughs> sorry, um, venue. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, this, yeah, Vancouver was great. I'm sure Toronto's going to be amazing tonight. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, Los Angeles, New York, big places, but then the small places are cool as well, which is, you know, because you don't normally, you wouldn't normally go there, you know what I mean? Like, you, that's, that's what's kind of cool about touring is going to cities that you never really probably would have turned up in, like Kansas City. So I've never been to Kansas City and we did that one this tour, so, uh, and that was an amazing place. So, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I don't mean to be bringing it back to food for a second, but when I was right. in Kansas, Chipotle so much amazing, just barbecue in general right. there is amazing. <laughs> did you kind of hit any of that up? Or? Um, we did not get to do much in there. We were playing in a shopping mall kind oh. of area. There was loads of food in it though. It wasn't like a shopping mall, it was like an open air kind of thing. It was us and Catfish and, uh, and Code Line joined us for oh, that nice. day as well. So. Uh, first time meeting those guys, they were a lovely bunch of lads. Sweethearts. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was. I think we had a, another like nine-hour overnight kind of drive straight after it, so we had to leave <laughs> as well. So no barbecue for Jamie. I had a, di I did have a Chipotle that day as well, though. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sending this to Chipotle. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> well, I have to, of course, bring up the fact that you have two EPs under your belt at the moment, but on your Twitter description it says that there is a record in construction. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Where are you at? Um, it is very close. That's why I'm heading back to Los Angeles to put the finishing touches on it. Um, and hopefully we're going to get it out early next year, like February, March time. Um, so there's just a few, a few more things to, to, to patch up and, you know, dot some I's, cross some T's, that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully it should be out very soon, which I'm very, very excited about. And when do you think fans might be able to get a taste? Have you road tested any of the songs yet? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the set we've been playing has been you know, very heavily weighted with, with new stuff and unreleased stuff, um, which is cool. Um, and everyone's, you know, grabbing the set lists and stuff and it's going all around, you know, Twitter. Like, you can probably guess what the album's going to be at this point. There's a few songs, there's a few, uh, a few sneaky ones there, but I think everyone's kind of making track lists in their head already. Nice. <laughs> I have to bring up the fact I know you recently teamed up with Timberland to this awesome, nice little promotion together. Mm. And you did an in-store in New York recently as yep. well. So can you just tell us a little bit more about the uh, team up you're doing? Yeah. Um, so they're doing uh, a new kind of positioning thing called the Modern Trail, which is like 
you know, uh, the modern trail can be like in the city, but like rugged wear that you can also wear in the woods, or whatever, going hiking, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, so they they they've been almost like seen as like an urban brand for a while, you know, um, with you know like Missy Elliott and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so they're repositioning more into what they started out as, which was like a New England like working boot almost, you know, like blue collar working boot. Um, so anyway, what I do with music is, you know, I do blues, but I also do a lot of collaborations with hip hop and, and different genres and different people, that kind of stuff. So the, you know, the our two kind of paths uh, kind of, yeah, seem to go together. So, so, um, so we teamed up, we teamed up for, uh, <laughs> For whatever whatever that ramblingness means, but <laughs> sorry, I, I I just woke up a few hours ago, so I'm I'm a little bit uh, fuzzy still, but yeah. <laughs> is the plan to do more in stores, or is um, was that just kind of a one-off? No, we did we did um we did another in store somewhere, uh, Chicago, and uh, and um, uh, yes, yeah, it's just Chicago and New York, but um, I think I think that's uh, that's all the Timberland. Oh, and we did a, we did an in store in store actually at the Timberland HQ yesterday um, just outside of Boston New Hampshire um, that was cool so I got to go see the see the uh, the, the, the Death Star of <laughs> Timberland here yeah. cool well, I know you mentioned right there how you do multiple collaborations uh, notably the ones with ex-ambassadors and Eminem I just wanted to ask you is there anyone that you'd love to partner with in the future that you've yet to um, yeah, I think I think me and uh, me and Taylor Swift could do great work together. <laughs> She's a popular one. Um, Nicki Minaj, um, Betty Wop, you know, um, and uh, Dave Matthews Band. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, just going back to the X Ambassadors collaboration for one second. I know Jungle was used. Favorite, my favorite actually thing it was featured in was in a WWE pay per view. Being a wrestling fan, it was really cool seeing all it right, on there okay. every time. So, uh, just for your music, is there anything you'd like to see it featured in in the future? Um, no, I like the wrestling touch. We got a friend who's a big wrestling guy cool. as well. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, it's, it's coming back. I think like in a, you know, like it was. It kind of went away for like when I was a kid. It was the biggest thing ever. It kind of went away, but now it's coming back. I'm kind of meeting a lot of people with that. Um, Anything that would be featured in? Well, we had I had a song. Uh, my song "Rumble and Sway" was in is in the new Coen Brothers trailer at the moment, which is just about the most crazy thing ever. I'm the biggest Coen Brothers fan, and uh, so you got like Channing Tatum doing some like Charleston to it and stuff, which is pretty bizarre. But um, <laughs> well, actually, we've been playing this. I've been playing this song on on tour for the last few dates um, that I actually wrote for a Tarantino film um, for Django, and it didn't make it in, or I didn't. I didn't I can't remember if it was I like, submitted it too late or whatever. Anyway, it didn't go in. But he's making a new cowboy film at the moment. So I'm gonna tr I'm trying to uh trying to get that one in there, but that'd be a dream, yeah, being in a whatever Tarantino film is yeah, that'd be crazy. Very nice. Well just to wrap everything up today for all of your fans who'll be viewing our interviews. Anything you'd like to shout out or say to them? Um Yes. Podcast. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So we we were doing a podcast. Which, well, we're trying to do a podcast on the uh, on the tour with with uh, with with my buddy Ian over there. Yeah. Um, and um, we've done two. Ep we've managed two episodes so far in the five and a half weeks. But uh, hopefully, we're going to do number three today after this. And um, I don't know. Should we do it after the tour? If uh, if anyone wants wants uh, wants more <laughs> <laughs> audio joy, um, what what the podcast. I don't even know. On the road, was it? From the road? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love oh. how familiar you are with yeah. your podcast. Well, yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, we can't call it From the Road. We'll have to change the name, I think. Anyway, <laughs> just having a conversation. Podcast. This is brilliant. Keep yeah, podcast. Yeah, keep an eye out. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, just a massive thanks for your time today. Yeah, thanks so much. Really lovely meeting Cheers, you. Cheers, thank you. And remember, everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for exclusive interviews, features, and videos with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time. Bye.